Anyway, let's see what else is going on in my business. Well, we had our, I had my weekly team meeting yesterday with my house buying team. This consists of two acquisitionists, one virtual assistant, and the one acquisitionist. What's that? The way you said it, it's that partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, virtual assistant. Yeah. Uh, the acquisitionist, her name's Brandy. I've talked about her before. She basically runs my business for me, which is great. And she loves it. She's happy. She loves her job. That's the kind of people you want on your team. I mean, people that are, I mean, she's got, I hired her for her attitude, not for her skills so much, because we can teach them the skills that they need. So, but she's always got a great attitude. Uh, she had a, um, uh, her father had a uh, stroke this past weekend. I hope I'm not sharing too much about her personal situation. I don't think she would mind. But point being, uh, she's been out of pocket for the past few days, but she still has this attitude of like, oh man, you know, let me, you know, I'll, I'll be getting on my closing calls that Kevin, our VA, is scheduling for her. And, you know, she's staying on top of it. I mean, this is her life. So just to kind of give you an idea of, uh, you know, what you're looking for in a good executive assistant slash uh, admin assistant slash acquisitionist. I mean, nowadays I've delegated so much responsibility to her that, I mean, you might as well call her the GM or COO or whatever, but uh, she's basically running it for me. The question I always get when I tell people that is, aren't you afraid she's going to run off and do her own business? Now she knows how to do everything. Actually, I'm not afraid of that. Um, she is extremely loyal. And I think if you find the right person and, you know, part of what makes her like this job so much is like she never thought she'd be making so much money. Like She thought she was going to be stuck in a retail job for the rest of her life, making 30 grand a year. Right now she made 60 grand last year. Uh, just doing the house deals and that was like so, sort of her ramp up year so this year will be even more next year even more of course so she's incredibly grateful and i think that goes a long way uh for her loyalty and everything else so i just can't say enough about her i think she's great uh and i hope everybody on here can find somebody like her now jeff uh, you and i have talked before about this you had when you had your team you had Tell, tell us what the, your team looked like back in the day. Well, back in the day, uh, 2000, 2001, 2002, it was uh, all old school. You know, we didn't use the internet like it's used today. In fact, very, very minimally, maybe a little bit of email communication, but it was still using telephones and newspapers. And I had uh, four girls buying and seven girls selling. Um, and uh, I, I had a particular model that I was looking for, a person. Um, and just to comment on what you said, in all of my businesses, including my real estate business, I've never had anybody go out to, you know, taught them and then go out and compete. Uh, it's just, that's just not in most people's, you know, people who want to own a business, they're on this call right now. Uh, people who want to work in a business or work for somebody, they're already doing it. They're not on this call. So, you know, it, you, you don't have to worry about that. But I, it was an all dial and smile operation. And I, uh, you know, back in that time, cell phones were really just starting, you know, although I had a cell phone late 80, early 90s, you know, they were big clunky suckers. Uh, this was getting to the point where, you know, you'd have uh, people who were especially high school students and, you know, college people who were really good at, you know, using the phone and we were just starting to learn, those of us in the industry. And so I would end up hiring uh, typically female, I like to get psych majors from college. Um, that for whatever reason, I've had very good luck with in, in running my businesses, uh, especially in a sales job like, like this with psych majors. Um, and, you know, without stereotyping, I would get the younger women who, who knew how to use their phone and they could, you know, multitask. And that was really the first time people started multitasking. I know it's 18, 19 years ago. It sounds like forever, but, you know, it, they, they, you know, today everybody is, you know, you see these commercials all the time with all these kids sitting in a room and they're talking to each other on the cell phone five feet away. 
Um, yeah. That was just starting back then. And, uh, you know, that was considered a skill set that you tried to hire for. And uh, it worked really well. We bought a lot of houses. We were, uh, when 9-11 hit, we had averaged, we were buying a house a day, 30 days a month. I mean, we had bought like 31 houses in a row, 31 days in a row when 9-11 hit. And we had like 60 in inventory. All It was all, basically an all lease option business, a handful of flips, but it was a sandwich lease and a subject to same kind of thing. And uh, when 9-11 hit, that everything stopped. It was dead. And we didn't sell another house until 2-1 of 2002. Took that long, five months later. Economy, everybody just sat. But, you know, that's that was old school. Today, everything could be done using our system with nobody. You know, one acquisitionist, one VA, that kind of yeah. thing. It took yeah. that much, you know, that many people to do that much back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. What? So 9-11 hit and everything, like everybody just hunkered down. Like nobody was buying a house, nobody was selling a house, nobody was doing nothing. We were we were buying and we were selling one a day, a little bit more than one a day. You know, we'd uh -huh. we'd do desktop closings in our office and we'd have them come in the conference room and you know, we had one one of the ladies was in charge of the closings and you know, we close everything right there, you know, ourselves. And we had probably two dozen things scheduled to close, you know, at nine eleven. None of them came through, none. And literally everybody hunkered down. That's the thing I worry about more in this business than a recession. Recession could be great for us. Yeah. Uh, any kind of economic downturn, the economy, I don't care about. If we get these nut jobs flying something into the Twin Towers type deal again, that will stop your business. And that you can't plan for. Yeah. That's the only thing I've ever been concerned about is that that could happen again. A terrorist attack will shut everything down. Yeah. For at least a few months, anyway. Yeah, I think it'll be less time than it was before. Yeah. But, you know, because that did not happen. Nobody had a consciousness of seeing something like that happen. You know, all the, the last time that had happened was Pearl Harbor. Right. And, and those people weren't out buying houses on 9 11, 2001. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, but you know, it'll, it'll happen at some point. And that's, that's the thing you got to be careful of. Mm -hmm. So. Don't end up, and you talk about, I mean, that was a big stroke, 60 houses, you know, that were sitting there vacant that I was making payments on for five months with no income coming in. That was, that was a tough, but we did it. We made it all the way through. And then, you know, 2-1, 2002 started and everything. Then it started going right back up. And so it, it was worth the wait because houses that were selling for 80,000 all of a sudden jumped to 120 and then 160 and eventually ended up at 250. Yeah. yeah. They've stayed so, there the whole time. Would you say you came out all right? Yes. Yeah. A lot of uh, scary lot there for a few months. Yeah, a few gray hairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a nail biter because you know you kept thinking, okay, well, one more day it'll be all right. One more day. Well, 150 days later is a lot of more days. Yeah. 140 days later before it took back up, and it's all of a sudden it's like everybody the curtain dropped and everybody February 1st everybody wanted to buy again. Thank <laughs> you.